Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Infinity and this is Magnetize Yourself, where we talk about life, love, spirituality, and of course the law of attraction. In today's video, I am going to be doing a reading and energy update for our beautiful collective here on YouTube. So I'm starting by shuffling the energy oracle cards deck and we're going to go ahead and get right into the messages. So the first card to come out here is the deceit card in the reverse position. This card is about truth coming to light, but specifically I am getting a message about the kind of truth that your energy illuminates within others. It's like your frequency is that light that illuminates the truth within other people. And it's really interesting that then we have the angel of balance in the reverse position because this really represents someone feeling knocked off their feet, feeling a bit emotionally overwhelmed. So what I'm getting from these two cards is that your ability to, at this time, radically illuminate the truth within other people is actually being felt as a bit emotionally overwhelming by certain people that you may be connecting with at this time. However, at the same time, with the man holding a coin card upright, you are also having this highly activating impact on others as well, particularly if you are resonating here as a divine feminine then I see that you are activating masculine and divine masculine energies around you in a very, very strong way. Now, of course, always take these labels as they resonate, particularly when I speak about the divine feminine or divine masculine, because these can connect with external people or situations, but they can equally connect to your internal divine feminine or divine masculine, and we all do have a balance of each. I'm hearing that you are motivating someone, possibly one of these masculine energies coming through here, to want to become or embody a better version of themselves. Something about you has been highly inspiring to this person who has felt very stuck for some time with the action card in the reverse position. So I want to know how you are inspiring this particular masculine energy. Happy family in the reverse position. I'm hearing you've shown me things that I didn't even realize I wanted until I met you or until I connected with you. So this may have been someone who had a bit of a player energy, as we might say, or who thought that they wanted to just be free when it came to love and never really wanted to settle down. This doesn't have to be that specifically. It could be something else. It's like this person was convincing themselves that they didn't want a particular thing out of their life or out of relationships. But when you entered their life, you actually illuminated that truth within them that there were things that they had been denying that they even wanted, that they actually did want for their future or for a future connection. It's like you woke up those desires within them in a conscious way. A very strong and specific message coming through, which might only connect for a few people, but there is a masculine here who I feel saying to themselves that you tick boxes that they didn't even know that they had. In fact, this particular masculine may have actually said that to you in some kind of terms or some kind of language. 
However, with Healer of the Ages upright, I see that this masculine energy is going through a profound and necessary healing at this time at both the energetic and emotional level. And this necessity of needing to go through some kind of healing may be creating some kind of temporary disconnect either physically or emotionally between the two of you. A rainbow might be a symbol or a sign here between you, but I want to know what kind of healing this masculine is going through. Okay, it's a heart healing with broken heart in the reverse position. So let's get more details as to what is going on in this masculine's heart space that's being healed. One strong heart space pattern I'm picking up is, again, that pattern of denying that they even desire certain things. It's like blocking some of their own true heart desires because they are actually struggling with a worthiness wound. It's like saying you don't want something because you feel like you aren't worthy of having it or that you can't have it. And in fact, that might even be literally what that masculine is doing with you specifically, Divine Feminine. This masculine, for example, could be acting as though they don't want you in their life when you are actually their heart's deepest desires, but they don't feel worthy of you or they don't really feel like they can have you. So they may be acting as though they don't even want you in their life. And so a heart healing is taking place within them to really peel back those layers of ego-based self-protection and to open up to them in a more conscious way what they truly desire. Now, I get that this comes very painful for them. So as they are beginning to consciously realize what they do want in their heart of hearts, it can be very painful to them at first because, again, there are still those worthiness wounds, still those aspects of themselves that don't believe that they can really have those desires. But I do see that all of this ultimately is meant to open up for them a fresh new beginning in love, but particularly a new beginning that comes through them consciously connecting with those heart's desires and pouring out their heart in a way that is very centered and very open. So this could be someone who would have to come towards you with some kind of outpouring of heart-based communication before you would be willing to move forward with them. And I'm getting that for your part, Divine Feminine, this person may have tried to move forward with you from a different place. So not necessarily from that healed heart open place. And they were instantly cut off from being able to do that. You were very resistant to this person trying to come in from any other energy than from their heart space. And this may have been very frustrating to this masculine because I'm getting that they may have been accustomed to being able to win over feminine energies coming at them from a different place than their heart. But those tactics do not work on you, Divine Feminine. So that's not only not only been frustrating to this masculine, but it's also been very confusing. So let's get some more information on this. By the way, thank you to all of you who tuned in to the last reading. I said that I've been feeling a bit under the weather. I am dealing with quite a bit of allergies at this time, and you can probably hear that in my voice. So thank you for all the healing energy that many of you have sent me. And of course, I still do love to do these readings, but do bear with me. I know that my voice is not at 100% capacity. Okay, so... Here we have the Empress. So the Empress is how this masculine energy perceives you, Divine Feminine. I'm hearing someone who's very in touch with nature. This could mean Mother Earth. You may be someone who really loves getting out into nature, but this equally could be your own internal feminine nature, your internal compass that you are in touch with. 
This masculine is recognizing that you will refuse to act outside of that internal guidance, that internal nature that you are so highly connected to, that you are someone who can't be pressured externally into anything, that you will always move to the rhythm of your own drum, as we say. So the fact that that is coming up here tells me there is a chance that this masculine did try to pressure you in some kind of external way into doing or behaving in ways that were actually not in alignment with your internal nature or that you didn't feel intuitively guided into. And of course, you have listened to your own intuition over external pressures, including pressures that might be coming from this specific masculine energy. And while on a surface human level, this may cause the masculine to feel temporarily frustrated because, again, they aren't able to externally ap apply pressure to you or win you over in the same kinds of ways that they can win over other feminines. But at the same time, it actually makes them value you and admire you more because they see you as this incredibly strong person who is entirely guided from within. This is a very unique and rare quality about you. And one that I sense you've had to develop through a lot of hardship or challenge in your life. Okay, so how else is this masculine thinking or feeling? Okay, wow. So we have the Eight of Swords reversed. This is someone who really wants to escape some kind of situation. They might feel trapped within something that, from their perspective, has been preventing them from fully moving forward in this connection with you. And in some cases, I'm getting as well that the masculine here may have actually tried to move forward this connection artificially without healing that deeper wound first. And you, Divine Feminine, sensed that disconnect in the energy. You sensed, perhaps, that they were trying to push things forward without first healing what needed to be healed, to clear the air, to lay that aligned foundation so that the two of you could move forward together in a harmonious way. And so with the Page of Cups reversed... This is about possible childhood issues. There may be something from this person's past that they haven't yet dealt with. This could be from childhood, but it doesn't necessarily need to be. I am just picking up that there were certain issues from this person's past that were very deep-seated. So they may have tried to bury these issues under addictions or other coping mechanisms. But regardless, I'm seeing that you, Divine Feminine, were always aware of something beneath the surface that was preventing the two of you from coming into full alignment with each other. Now, you may or may not have known the specifics of these wounded patterns or issues, but you were told by your guidance team, meaning your own intuition, your internal guidance that it wasn't the right time or way to move forward with this particular person. Now, from your end, this may have been extremely confusing because I am picking up that this is actually someone that you have at least at some point strongly desired to move forward with. This may be someone that you've had very strong feelings for either in the past or present, and yet something about the way that they were coming towards you indicated to you that they were not coming from a healed, balanced, heart-centered kind of place. And so I see that your intuition may have led you to either reject their advances or to set boundaries or to pull away here. Now, ironically, with the four of wands upright, you actually both have a shared vision for this connection. There is a shared desire here to come together 
in a really beautiful, harmonious way. But it's going to require this person with the Seven of Swords reversed to come forward clear and correct and most likely to open up or to come clean about something that hasn't been spoken aloud but that you have been sensing very strongly about this person and again this could be related to some kind of wounded patterning within them fears insecurities childhood issues etc with the king of cups reversed this could indicate a masculine influence around this particular masculine. It could be them in some internal aspect, but for most of them I'm getting this is an external person. This may be a father figure, a friend, someone in their life who seemed to be in a very wounded state of being. This could be someone who has some kind of a very strong addiction. I'm not sure why I'm getting that specifically, but this is someone who has been very self-oriented, very selfish in a way. And however they've influenced this particular masculine, it's like they have tried to influence the masculine here to be the same way, to really only look out for themselves and to disregard the feelings of other people. So this has artificially influenced the masculine to close off their heart state a bit, even though this is very contradictory to their true nature. So what else can I get about the messages coming through? Yeah, in the midst of all of this, the death card, this is about a spiritual transformation, an ego death. And I feel that this masculine is going through a powerful ego death experience that is calling into question not only this potential external masculine energy that may have been influencing them, but so many aspects about how they see themselves, how they view the world, and how they view themselves within a relationship context specifically. I feel that you, Divine Feminine, played no small role in this masculine's ego death that they're now going through. This might be taking us full circle as to how your energy has illuminated so much truth within them and not just within them but in their life as well as we're now seeing in the reading and how that is causing them to feel so overwhelmed it's like you are this very bright flashlight that is shining on them in such an intense way and in some respect, they don't feel ready for the kind of illumination effect that you are creating in their life. With the Magician card, I see this representing your energy at this time, Divine Feminine. So you are very much, I'm hearing in the energy of magic and muse, meaning you are focusing on tapping into your true inner magic, holding your vision for yourself and your life, manifesting things into being, but also you are a muse, not only to yourself, but to many other people around you. I'm hearing that regardless of whether you are consciously aware of this or not, your energy at this time is inspiring a lot of others, particularly creative types. And when I say it's your energy inspiring them, I mean that you don't even have to be verbally or consciously connecting with these other people in order to have this highly inspiring effect on them because we are all quantum connected in this collective web of consciousness and I'm picking up that just through the frequency that you are emanating to the collective, there are many specifically creative types who are picking up on that frequency through the ether and translating it into really beautiful things, whether that's music, artwork, etc. You might even find moments of synchronicity where you come across some kind of movie or song or work of art that contains something within it that reminds you of something that you've thought or said. And this can be a sign that your energy at the quantum level 
actually played a very strong role in inspiring that particular work of art. Okay, so what else can I channel for the beautiful divine feminines listening here? I'm hearing allow the karmic contracts to close themselves out and release any heavy attachments that have been weighing you down with the contract card reversed and the attachment card reversed here as well. With broken heart reversed, I'm also hearing that now is really the time to fully allow your heart to heal, but I'm seeing that you allow your heart space to heal and thrive through who you place yourself around and specifically placing yourself around people who allow you to be open-hearted with them. I'm hearing allowing yourself to align with those who align with you when you are in a frequency of unconditional love. And I'm also getting a side message that as you hold that frequency of unconditional love, it will become increasingly obvious to you who is there in alignment with you and who is incapable of aligning with you in that unconditionally loving frequency. I'm also getting that you are going to notice increasingly that it is difficult to be around people that are not connecting with you from that truly authentic space. In fact, you're going to find yourself very drained from trying to interact with someone who is not coming from the heart, which is why as well with hostilities reversed, you're really being asked to protect your own peace, your inner peace at all costs and focus most dominantly at this time on self-love, on that energy of unconditional self-appreciation and allow those who are meant for you to align with you in that energy of self-love. Okay, so I want to reshuffle here and I just saw the number 2222 on the recording timer, but I also want to channel into anyone else that potentially might be connected to your energy at this time. Okay, so who else is connected to our beautiful divine feminines? Okay, we have the Ten of Swords reversed. We also have the Six of Wands reversed. The Wheel of Fortune reversed. And then the Ten of Cups. Wow, this is very interesting because it's three cards that tend to have very negative connotations. The first, the Ten of Swords reversed, being someone trying to escape something. I'm hearing escape old patterns, and this seems to be someone connected to you. This person also seems to have at some level perceived that they've failed and that things have taken a turn for the worse between you. So this may be someone very worried because they feel as though they've had trouble escaping their own old patterns, that this connection between the two of you has lost some of its momentum or that they haven't been able to fully materialize this connection yet. However, ironically, we then have that 10 of cups energy. So I feel like amidst this very heavy situation, something really powerful and beautiful is coming together behind the scenes. Okay, so let's see what other energies might be surrounding you at this time. I heard the energy of protection. So there could be someone here who has been feeling particularly lonely lately. I do get that for a specific person or group of people. This may be a loneliness coming up in your love life. So because of a certain person or situation romantically in your life, 
But here we have the yin yang card and also the woman holding a heart in the upright position. And it's interesting because I see this representing the divine feminine standing in her power and continuing to hold on to her heart in spite of potential feelings of loneliness, sadness, or fear that might be coming up. I see this being the divine feminine holding that center of power and that internal balance that is represented by the yin yang card. Although of course this is my number one twin flame card in the deck. So if these messages are resonating, you may also consider yourself to be someone on a twin flame path. Although that doesn't necessarily have to be the case. If you are on a twin flame path, I am seeing that for many listening here with happy family reversed, there may be some kind of separation or disconnect here. And I'm hearing that if you're experiencing some kind of external feeling, disconnect or separation or some kind of fear or loneliness triggered by something external, there's a very strong message to recenter your energy from the internal plane, from within yourself, rather than trying to focus or fixate upon the external physical person or situation, which of course can sound very backwards from our physical human perspective, but everything truly is energy. So when we shift or stabilize something internally, our external world actually begins to reflect and mirror those shifts and changes, specifically with attachment in the reverse position. I do see massive upgrades taking place within you, Divine Feminine, emotionally and mentally. Now, for some of you, you might be taking a very active role in these updates. So you could be getting into certain practices such as meditating, journaling, grounding yourself in some way, doing something to release some of those old anxious or possibly codependent patterns that may have been sitting in your energetic field. Now, of course, this will not be relevant for all of you. This is only for those of you who are aware that this is something you've been healing and releasing at this time. And if that is you, by the way, I really applaud you for that powerful healing work that you've been doing within yourself because when you release those lingering patterns of fear and anxious attachment, you are stepping into your true voice and power. This is actually really activating your throat chakra because you through releasing these patterns are no longer seeing the world through that lens of fear. You are seeing things for the truth of them. You are seeing people and situations and relationships with a kind of clarity that comes from being deeply and fearlessly connected with your own inner truth. And that is how I see this throat chakra activation taking place that in turn here actually assist you in doing, creating, being, exuding whatever you are in this world. And that is just such a beautiful and powerful thing. So I will be pulling one final Rumi Oracle card to close out this reading. I know that this reading specifically has jumped around a bit. I felt many different pieces of messages coming through for different individuals and groups of people. So at the end of the day, it's always my goal to reconnect you with your own intuition. So your intuition is always the guiding compass of your life. And I always recommend listening to that above all else. So take what does resonate in that intuitive place and leave the rest here. 
I will also be continuing this reading on Patreon. So for those of you who are feeling a resonance here, we will be diving deeper into the messages in the Patreon reading. I will be channeling more into that masculine energy that came out earlier, as well as doing a deep level aura read for you, Divine Feminine, and reading into any other potential people, energies, situations, etc. that might be connected to or attached to you at this time. So the link to that extended Patreon reading is in the pinned comment and description box underneath the video. But for now, I'm going to read one final Rumi Oracle message. Greetings from my heart to you who are always with me hidden inside as the heart. You are the compass of my life. My course is your way, no matter where I go. You exist everywhere and in everything, always watching over us. My soul brightens in the darkness when I speak your name. Far beyond the body, there is an opening from my heart into yours. Through that opening, I send you secret messages like the moonlight. I polish the mirror of my heart to be your reflection. I make my ear the receiver for the tenderness of your words. You are in the ear. You are in the mind. You are in every burning heart. What am I saying? You are I. This is my way to describe you. Rumi. So that is a beautiful place to close the reading here on YouTube. Of course, if you do want to continue on with me now to the additional Patreon reading, the link to that is in the pinned comment and description box underneath the video. Otherwise, I am sending you all so much love today. Take care. Have a beautiful remainder of your week. And I will connect with you here again in Friday's reading.